I'm fired up about this Hunter Biden story. Hunter Biden used the N-bomb uh, multiple times. Uh, that was a big enough story for Morgan Wallen as country music for Kyle Larson in NASCAR for a 15-year-old Mimi Groves who would have been a University of Tennessee cheerleader. New York Times wrote tons of articles about all of those people. So did CNN. Uh, so did MSNBC. And so did the Washington Post. Well now Hunter Biden in what resembles borderline trafficking in women let's be honest uh, has tweeted when asked whether or texted when asked whether or not he is interested in Asian women no yellow. Uh, and you know we're kind of in the world where if you say the China virus people are like oh my god that's so racist even though we have long geographically named viruses after where they we believe they originated hello the Spanish flu hello Ebola uh, kind of a normal thing to point to where a virus originates geographically so calling COVID a China virus is not wrong at all if you use historical nomenclature as a guidepost. But what is interesting is Hunter Biden can be racist in his language as it pertains to black people. He can be racist in his language as it pertains to Asian people. He can be a serial racist the son of the President of the United States who is claiming that he wants to eliminate white privilege and systemic racism. And yet no one covers it. Hunter Biden doesn't get covered by the New York Times, doesn't get covered by the Washington Post, doesn't get covered by CNN, doesn't get covered by MSNBC despite the fact that he is blatantly using racially insensitive language for a privileged white guy to be using. And all of the precedents that have been set by MSNBC, CNN, Washington Post, and New York Times suggest that if anybody else were to be using language like Hunter Biden God forbid Donald Trump Jr. had done this it would have been front page news story covered everywhere on television. Yet Hunter Biden does it and all of these supposedly remember democracy dies in darkness? Remember all the news that's fit to print? The New York Times, CNN, MSNBC, and the Washington Post all of these news outlets that claim to be honest repositories of news story and that claim that they're going to hold powerful people accountable are not holding Hunter Biden accountable at all for his behavior. And again, I just want to point out the hypocrisy because I think it's significant in an era when the absolute trust in media is collapsing when everybody is looking around saying well I can't trust anybody in the media except by the way your boy whose audience is surging because whether or not you agree with me you at least believe and I think it's the right belief that I'm going to try to be honest with you every day they're not covering Hunter Biden. All this anti-Asian coverage about uh, violence against Asian people oh by the way that story kind of vanished when it determined that instead of white people being racist against Asians it was mostly black people who were racist against Asians wasn't the right uh, identity politic narrative and so that Asian violence story just kind of disappeared from mainstream media because the perpetrators were not the right race. White dudes have been doing stuff to Asian people would have been a story forever. Turns out black dudes are the ones beating up Asian people innocent Asian people story kind of vanishes. Only white guy who doesn't get covered for being racist in fact the whole country may be Hunter Biden. So I just want to ask you why is Hunter Biden getting a pass? With his past and with his father's platform and with his father's focus on systemic racism and on systemic racism and on equity and all of these things why is nobody talking about Hunter Biden? MSNBC CNN, New York Times, Washington Post they're all fraudulent when it comes to this story. 